Hi, welcome to another walk with Harvey. Harvey's here, desperate to get out as usual. Holly's in the back. And today we're doing another walk from the Morn Mountains Guide from Knife Edge. Uh, we're doing the Mealbag Ridge. So we've got um, Sleeve Block Shanna, Sleeve Mealbag, and Sleeve Meal Mort. Three peaks to do today. So uh, yeah, I'll be out for a bit. It says it takes four and a half hours, but as usual, I'll probably be a lot longer than that. And 6.8 miles. So we better get going. There's a few people in the car park, as usual. I'm a bit embarrassed speaking to the camera when there's people about. So yeah, let's get on the way. Speak to you in a bit. Night. Right, that's us on the trail now. Uh, got ahead of the, the mini bus full of kids. <laughs> so I don't know uh, if they're coming the same route. But yeah, this is the bit we... Uh, took a wrong turn when we were going to Doan the other week so it's very tempting to go down that one towards the uh, looks like a really good path but yeah that's not the way you go <laughs> this is the way you go with the big yellow arrow pointing us this way started off a bit cloudy but the uh, sun's out already which is good but I think it's going to be a bit changeable on top there but yeah see how we get on yeah on the way down from Berna last week I was talking about this coat I'd only had it a short while and it did survive the uh, the downpour we had last week the only thing is with these big coat padded coats the sort of uh, it's all or nothing, I'm already too warm, so uh, yeah, I think uh, some sort of better layering system would be, would be in order. I'm just trying to justify spending more money, I think. I'm hoping Holly can avoid uh, getting in the bog this week. Every walk we've been on, she's managed to get really dirty. Holly, stay on the steps, please. Keep going, go on. usual ignoring my instructions <laughs> oh here we go <laughs> there's a boggy bit now right how do we navigate this <sighs> let's try down here how do you go first yeah well, it's not too bad yeah survived that one anyway <laughs> Just at the Morn Wall now, there's Doan in the distance. Uh, just a quick time check. We have done one mile 21 and it's taken us 34 minutes. So yeah, first peak we get to is Sleeve Lock Shanna, which is up here. Would you look at the muck on your paws already, Harvey? Are you going up the wall, are you? It's left the hat behind, oh dear. Right, that's us at the top of Sleeve Lock Shanna. I did say I was going to try and juggle on the top of every peak. It's very windy at the minute. I suppose, seeing as I said I'd do it, I should really give it a go. Ah, oh, that'll do. Quick time check. 57 minutes, uh, 1.55 miles. Oh, 
weather's very changeable now, right in the clouds here. Heading down towards the next saddle and then up on the other side. Taking him off the lead for a wee minute. Harvey was very excited when he got off, he was running around in circles. When you Harvey? Got a bit of mud on your face. How'd you get mud on your face? Hmm? One of the good things about being out when it's overcast is when the clouds do clear, it opens up amazing views that you hadn't realised you were in the midst of. sleeve meal bag but I can't see any can so oh over the other side <laughs> there we go ah what am I gonna do am I gonna juggle it over there or juggle over this side you know what it's very windy I don't know about any juggling that will happen but uh, I think I'm gonna try it over this side anyway right here goes uh, <laughs> I think you got the air flaps down now. Ah, this is near impossible in this wind. Harvey, don't you be getting in the way of the camera. Uh. I may have to do it into the wind. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly forgot to do a time check there, so uh, we're now at, oh, hang on, 1 hour 45 and we've done 2.09 miles. Right, just coming down to the final bit of the descent of Sleeve Meal Beg. That should be Harvey's Mountain really, he's always begging for meals. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Harvey. For that. Looks like we're starting to get a bit of clear skies. Some of the uh, cloud dissipating. So we're getting a bit of a view now. And we found one of these, I think it's Stephen Reed, one of the other YouTubers in the morns calls these leprechaun holes. Yeah, they don't need to use the hole here because the, the walls all collapsed here. Was that you, Holly? Did you push that over? It was probably that other dog, Harvey. Where's Harvey gone? Harvey! Harvey! Come on! Holly! <laughs> so as per the guide, once you're coming up to sleeve meal more, the wall gets uh, dissected by itself. Is that the right word? Basically a crossroads of the wall. But uh, yeah, we keep following it straight up. One second it's cloudy, the next minute it's clear. Got a brilliant view of sleeve burner a second ago and then it disappeared into the mist again. So uh, yeah, oh, have we got it coming out? So, just keeping the camera to hand. Wow. Right, 
mate, that's us on the top of Sleep Mealmore. It's really windy. The juggling, I don't think this was a good idea, me juggling on the top of every single peak. I don't know how we're going to do this. But anyway, it's now uh, 2.57 miles. We've been going for 2 hours 26 minutes. So uh, yeah, that's us at the peak. And it's really windy. So uh, yeah, maybe give it a couple of minutes, maybe do it near the wall. <sighs> I'm beginning to think my goal should be to attempt to juggle five balls on the top of every peak. Well, I'm just getting a bit of shelter here before we carry on the rest of the walk. Nothing to see at the minute, except the lovely Holly and Harvey. You'd never guess I've just got the food out of the bag, would you? What do you want, Harvey? What do you want? Yes, as usual, it is vegan sausage rolls on the menu and a few potatoes from last night as well. So, uh, Harvey, what? You got yours already? No, hi. Oh yeah, I forgot to say as well, using another new bit of equipment this week, I've got the SIG flask which was very kindly given to me and my friend Rachel who you may have seen on the swimming in blue lock video that I did so yeah thank you Rachel that's how it's worked yeah not done much filming on the way down here the weather has got really bad really windy and really rainy so uh, navigation is difficult enough coming down this bit without fiddling about with the camera so yeah the, uh, the guide says go north off the top there, so that's what I did. I think I've found a, a good route down. There's a fella behind me, went over to the right, which I, I don't think was the right way, so hopefully he's okay. But yeah, I'm not going to do much filming uh, on the way down here. I'll speak to you when I get off the hill. Uh, they just broke free from my grip there, but I'm past caring. <laughs> oh, that was some descent. Oh, that's a windy mess up there. Right, so we're down, oh, closer to civilization anyway. Uh, quick time check, we've done 3.57 miles and it's three and a half hours, I think that was. Yeah, three hours 33. So, not exactly sure that was the right descent to come off, but it, it was definitely the safest and it was, uh, got us to a uh, proper path here anyway. So Holly, come on, let's get over this style. I know you don't like them, but come on. Holly, come on. Holly, come on. Come on, Holly. What's wrong? It's only a bit of water. Go on, Harvey, go on. Come on Holly, come on. Come on Holly. Good girl, good girl. <sighs> you won't believe how long that took to get her across. <laughs> Been here for about five minutes. See, it wasn't that bad, was it Holly? Yeah, it hasn't been ideal conditions today for filming or for walking for that matter. But I think it's important to walk in these conditions, get you used to uh, your navigation skills coming off of the mountains when it's as windy and rainy as it was up there. But yeah, I think we did all right getting down. So, uh, nice easy bit to finish off the walk. You join the Morn Way up past the reservoir and then uh, just up to the car pack that way. So uh, yeah, just in case I don't get enough battery 
to get me back to the car I might finish this one here so thanks for watching another walk with Harvey and Holly today in the morns yeah it's been a wet and windy one so uh, I'm gonna dry up get the dogs another wash when they get in but yeah thanks for watching again hopefully see you next time hopefully we'll be drier next time see you later bye